From henceforth, you shall be crowned Prince of Camelot. So how does it feel to be servant to the Crown Prince of Camelot? Washing his royal socks will be even more of a privilege. <laughs> You're proud of him, really, even though you complain about him constantly. I am not. You are, I can see it in your face. Those socks are very clean. Of course I'm proud of them. <laughs> a big welcome to Lottery HQ. That all looks rather exciting, doesn't it? Now, without giving too much away, Bradley, can you tell us what's been happening to your character, Prince Arthur, in the series so far? Oh, well, I think as we just saw there, um, Arthur finds himself in quite a few scrapes. Yes. Um, <laughs> but recently he's had Merlin to help him out, so... Um, I suppose we'll be seeing a, a lot more of that. Oh, very good. And, and Angel, what's it like working with Richard Wilson and Anthony Head? It must have been quite fun on location. Yeah, it's amazing, great fun. They're both lovely and such professionals. You really feel like you're in safe hands when you're working with them. Fantastic. Great. And now, the series has been such a huge success. I am absolutely loving it. Everybody is. Why do you think this is? I think that the Arthurian legends are something that are close to the people's hearts mm -hmm. of, of this nation. So. Um, I think the angle that we're telling the story at is, is something fresh as well, so I yeah. think it's appealing. And just very quickly, Angel, uh, can you tell us what happens in the final episode? Go on, no one's, no one's going to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you what happens, but I can say it's very exciting, it's very thrilling. Brilliant. We Thank look you. forward to it. Thank you so much, guys. It's been a pleasure having you on, and you're going to come back for the exciting lotto draw. But before that, let's see if these next numbers are the ones on your dream number ticket. <laughs> Dream number, you're helping to fund many of the venues that will be hosting events at the London 2012 Olympic Games and Paralympic Games. Drawmaster Martin, are we clear to proceed? Yes, we're all set, Kirsty. Okay, we wish you the very best of luck. Please start the draw. Now, tonight we're using tourmaline and set of balls number one chosen by Mr. Oliver. And the news from Wednesday's draw is that over 40,000 tickets won a prize. Three lucky tickets matched with the first five numbers in sequence to win £5,000 each. So, congratulations if you were one of those midweek winners. Now back to tonight, and live on BBC One, here's this weekend. Dream number draw. First in the sequence. Which will it be? It's a two. We've matched with that number, you'll definitely be in the game tonight, and two pounds is yours. And the next, please. That's a four. You match with those first two numbers. In that order, your prize money now stands at a crisp tenner. There's a seven. Don't forget, in this game, you have a one in ten chance of winning a prize. Next. Worth the wait, an eight. Match correctly with the four numbers drawn so far. £500 is yours. There's an eight, another eight. You must match with these numbers in sequence and with no breaks in the chain. There's a one. Almost there. There's one more number to come, but which will it be? The answer is... a five. So tonight's National Lottery dream number is... two, four, seven, eight, eight, one... Kirsty. Thank you. Now, this evening's draw team, alongside an independent adjudicator, are busy preparing for tonight's big lotto draw, which will be taking place in just a moment. And for all the latest news, including today's daily play results, log on to the website bbc.co.uk forward slash lottery and follow the links. And there'll also be a national lottery update with all of tonight's draw results right here on BBC One, 10.40, straight after the main BBC News. That's right. So the moment has arrived. Stop what you're doing. Start to believe <laughs> that tonight could be your lucky night. Just think, you could be very rich in a matter of minutes. Let's play Lotto. <laughs> have joined me again. So, Alan, there's one thing that everybody wants to know. How much are we playing for tonight? Well, guys, we have tonight a jackpot estimated at four and a half million pounds. <gasps> a magical amount of money. Alan, take <laughs> it away. OK, then, Martin, let's release those big money balls. And thanks to Joe from Kingston, we're using Sapphire and Sedibles 5. The news from the draw team is that over 356,000 tickets won a prize on Wednesday. Four extremely lucky tickets matched with the six winning numbers to scoop over 593 grand each. So congratulations from all of us here if you were one of those winners. Let's do it, Kirsty. Drawmaster Martin, are we clear to proceed? Yes, we are, Kirsty. Bradley and Angel, it's time to make some dreams come true. May we have a deserving winner. <laughs> Please start the draw. Absolutely. Here we go. There's the first one. That's number 24. 
Last with us four weekends back, one of that amazing run of 20s, if you remember, and the 91st Lotto appearance. Next is number 27, 169th time as a Lotto main ball. That was with us for the last two Wednesday nights, in fact. Next, out comes that one, which is number 15. Also emerged the Wednesday before last, that one, 155th time as a main ball. Fourth to be drawn is that one there, which is number 26. Up an 85th lotto outing for that one. Bonus the Wednesday before last, in fact. And the next one. And she comes. That's number 34. 156 time now as a lotto main ball. Last time we saw that. Wednesday night just gone. And the sixth one that can make you very rich is number 33. Remember, since it launched way back in 94, the National Lottery's given away over 33 billion pounds in prizes. There's the bonus, 23. So, Millionaire's Row this weekend looks like this in ascending order. 15. 24. 26. 27, 33, and number 34. The bonus tonight, 23, Kirsty. Well, that's all from us tonight. Bradley and Angel, thank you so much for coming in. Make sure you join Jenny Faulkner on Wednesday night, 10.35 for the midweek draws. She's got Lamar with her. He'll be performing his new single. Carol Machin is your host on Friday night for the Euro Millions draw at 11.35. And because of children in need, that'll be on BBC Two. I'll be back next week. See you then. Bye-bye.